In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to filter an array based on a search criteria. So back to our numbers array, let's say we want to return only the positive numbers. So we can use the filter method like this. Filter. Once again, we need to pass a callback function. This function has three parameters, value, index, and array. So out of these, we only care about value. We don't care about the index because I just want to see if the number or the value is positive. So function value. Now here we can write a simple expression like this. If value is greater than or equal to zero. So when we call the filter method, this method will loop through this array and execute this callback function for each number, for each element. Now, if the element matches this criteria, it will add this element to a new array. And finally, we can get the new array here. So filtered. Let's take a look at the result. Filtered. So in our filtered array, we have only one, two, and three. Now, earlier you learned about arrow functions. So this is a good case where you would use an arrow function. We have a single line of code in this function, and we're simply returning a value. So we get rid of the function keyword, put a fat arrow between the parameter and the body of this function. We don't need the parentheses because we have a single parameter. And because we're simply returning a value, we can also exclude the return keyword as well as the curly braces, and then put everything on the same line like this. Now we can make this code a little bit shorter. So in this case, we can use an abbreviation like V for value or N for number, because it's obvious that we're working with the numbers array. So we filter and we get numbers where number is greater than or equal to zero. Now here we're dealing with an array of numbers. In a real world application, you would be using an array of objects. For example, here on the Yelp website, we can click this button to find only the restaurants that are open now. So this is one kind of filtering. So if you want to implement something like this, instead of an array of numbers, you would have an array of restaurants and each restaurant has opening hours. So you could filter restaurants that are currently open and return them. Hi guys, thank you for watching my JavaScript tutorial. This tutorial is part of my JavaScript course where you will learn all the essential JavaScript features that every web and mobile application developer must know. If you're an absolute beginner or have some experience in JavaScript and are looking for a fun and in-depth course that teaches you the fundamentals of JavaScript, this course is for you. This course is also packed with tons of exercises that help you master what you learned in the course. In fact, many of these exercises are questions that come up in technical programming interviews. So if you're pursuing a job as a front-end or a back-end developer, or if you simply want to have a more in-depth understanding of JavaScript, I highly encourage you to enroll in the course. For a limited time, you can get this course with a discount using the link in the video description. Click the link to find out more about the course and enroll.